Hey guys, this is Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today we are doing another ear stretching video and I'm so excited because I'm done with Tapers Girl. As you may have saw in my last one, if you watched it, and you should, um, I did my last taper stretch to a two gauge and now I'm doing dead stretching and I've had these in for a couple of weeks and my lobules are getting a little loose and I've said in past videos that I have very loose ears because I've stretched them in the past so they are just ready to go man and I also um wear earrings through the tunnels sometimes which can weigh them down so we are all set but before we do that make sure to like this video if you enjoy it comment whatever you want to comment subscribe for more content and turn on the bell to know when I post it's every Thursday but if you forget about that turn on that bell and also make sure to follow my two Instagrams my beauty and tattoo and body modification one Modified Makeup by Mad, and my personal one, which is just Madeline McBride underscore. I put memes on my story sometimes, I just post selfies, all that fun stuff. Okay, now that we have that all done, let's get right into it. So, first thing first, put your fucking hair back. I always have my hair up, and then I put in a headband, because um, I don't want my hair getting all this. I'm gonna try to do pretty much the same thing I did in the last video. Like take the right precautions and stuff I feel like I should take. So first, I'm gonna list off all of the things you should need. So you need anti antibacterial soap to clean your ears. Um, usually I would do this in the bathroom, but like I've said in the past, my bathroom has bad lighting, so water aka what you would use for a sink. If you have long nails like me, q-tips will be very helpful. And then whatever oil that you use for stretching that you choose to use, I use vitamin E oil. You do whatever you want. And then also like paper towels, tissues, I don't know. I don't really prefer regular towels because I feel like they can hold a lot of bacteria, but if you want to do that, I mean, you do you. Like I said, since I'm dead stretching, um, I'm doing in between sizes. So here is my last taper size. This is a stretching set that I got from Amazon. This is a two gauge. And then I have um, a glass plug set that goes up to half an inch that I got from Body Art Forms. And this is the one gauge. So like I said, I'm pretty freaking hype about this because um, I just spit everywhere. I'm pretty hype about this because like tapers would always just give me like a whole like world of problems and whenever it was time to put in the plugs like the little rim on them would bother me and just so much stuff but the thing that's nice about these is they don't have any rim on the end of them that the uh, o-ring would go on the o-rings just slide on so that's pretty nice I'm gonna try to compare the size difference um, as best as I can it was really easy when I had tapers like two different sizes of tapers but I have one taper and then I have one plug. And this size difference, let's see. This one is, I think it's seven. Maybe that's focusing, maybe not. That's the size difference. I don't know if it's really showing because like I said, it's two different things, but I did my best and that's all that matters. So first things that I do is I first clean my ears with antibacterial soap rinse them, dry them, and then I use the q-tip to apply the oil on my ear and then I'm also going to apply it to the plug and hopefully it should slide in. My ears are pretty dang loose so I'm hoping it will. Um, and also another tip which I said in the past video is I take out one plug at a time instead of taking them both out because my ears shrink down very quickly. Yeah and I always start with my right ear because like I said in the past this is my typically tough ear that has a hard time stretching. It's usually easier for me to start with this one and get it over with. I think I covered all bases. My goal size is three fourths of an inch or seven eighths, whichever one I decide to stop at. It's probably gonna be seven eighths of an inch. Yeah, this set that I have right now goes to half an inch. So we're just gonna get there first and then we'll go from there. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna clean my ear with some antibacterial soap and then apply some oil and then we'll see if this goes right in. And then there's my empty ear. Not really anything crazy right now because it's still the smaller sizes. Um, then I'm going to get this vitamin E oil on a Q-tip because I can't really get it on my fingers because of my long ass nails. And just apply it on there. 
I'm soon realizing that I probably shouldn't have put vitamin E oil on the plug and get it all over my fingers because I'm having a hard time putting it in. I'm gonna try to take some of the excess off my ear too because it's making it just kind of like slip all around. Wow. Fuck. Fuck. That was easy. Okay, quick tip. This is my first time just like kind of dead stretching and trying to put it in. If you put too much oil on it, it's going to slip and slide fucking everywhere, dude. So just go like kind of like easy on the oil. Definitely put some on there. You don't want to just be shoving this in a dry ear. I don't care how loose your ear is. It's probably just not a good idea to do that. So these are some long plugs that I saw in the review. Some people don't like it. Me personally, it's like you, you got to make sure you have room for it to like get in your ear and also for the o-ring to stay on. So I don't really mind. Um, but these are super cute. I kind of like the blue tone they have to them. And I can't really wear earrings through this either, so I'm probably not going to stretch up that quick after this because I was definitely using earrings kind of as like a uh, weight to my ears, but now I'm just trying to put this o-ring on. But now that they are solid plugs and not tunnels, it's not going to be that easy. Okay, so again, these o-rings are kind of hard to get on. These are like super tight ones. I'm just going to like put that to the side for right now. Super cute. I love it. So before I worry about the o-rings, because I just need a minute, we're just going to worry about this other ear. So I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, clean my ear, oil up my ear a little bit. I might just like barely put a little bit on, but definitely make sure you still clean it. I don't know. It kind of bothers me when people don't clean their ear because there's just so much like dead skin buildup and like, I don't know. You don't want to like, just like let that sit in there. You know, in between stretches, you definitely want to like try to make sure everything's all peachy keen and like cleaned up, you know. So this is my easier ear. Should be like a lot quicker. I'm gonna just like put this q-tip in but like also scrape off some of the excess oil and kind of just like make sure I get it around the hole. I'm not really gonna massage my ear too much because then it got all over my fingers and that was kind of hard to put in bro. And then it's in. Just hanging out in my little lobe. All right so these o-rings bro I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to put these in. I might have to go open up the two gauge bag and get those o-rings because they might get bigger because these ones are like super fucking tight, dude. Like, no, very painless as it should be if you're dead stretching. Like, you shouldn't just shove the next plug in your ear. For, for the love of God, do not shove the next plug in your ear. Oh my God. The next size plug. Because you're just like... Oh my, <laughs> like you're gonna fuck up your ear, bro. Yeah, like this isn't even like showing any signs of like wanting to go in. And like if I fuck with my ear too much, I feel like that's not good for it. So I'm gonna try grabbing the next size. Oh no, I'm, I've been big lying this entire time. It's zero gauge. I was going the opposite way. And I'm gonna see how these ones go in. There we go. Yeah. Okay, I just put on the O-rings from the uh, zero gauge plugs. Life hacks by Mad. If shit don't fit, go up the next size, bro. No, actually, if O-rings don't fit, go up the next size. Do not do that as a general norm for stretching your ears. <laughs> Please don't. Okay, like I said, I'm just kind of pushing it back to make sure it has room because, like, sometimes if the O-rings are smashed up against it, bro, it definitely will make it start acting a little whack. All right, guys. Oh my God, that was so much fucking easier than the last video. Well, actually, no, I didn't really capture how fucking annoying it is to use tapers in the last video. It was more annoying in the smaller sizes, but yeah, that shit would fucking give me some problems. <laughs> Thanks to Body Art Forms for making this like glass set because they have some weight to them, so it helps with dead stretching. Um, and I'm going to leave these in for as long as I can until they're loose. For dead stretching, I t you typically don't want to rush. You know, like with tapers, like maybe you can get away with it for a little bit. But I'm going to tell you what, if you rush, man, it will come back to get you. Just, you know, take your time with it. Like I said, like I always say, just wait till your ears are ready. Wait till everything feels loose. And if it goes in without any pain, you're golden. It shouldn't really hurt to stretch your ears. It shouldn't hurt at all. Maybe a pinch. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm super happy that I'm finally at a one gauge and that up next will be zero gauge and I will be making a video of that. And this is more so like you guys kind of, I feel like you understand the stretching process, but I just want you like here along the ride with me, you know? But I'm going to peace out. I will be back next Thursday with another video.
Alright guys, I'll see you then. Bye!